Hello, and welcome to Chernobylite. I don't know, let me click that. <laughs> Chernobylite is a game set in, like, 2018 Ukraine in the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone. So that music is really fucking loud. I think I'm going to turn that down once we actually get into... So the entire thing is just loud. I had to go that some never abandoned their homes or even moved back. Will Samashev's work move forcibly for the exclusion zone? Demonstrations across the Ukraine. Ten billions of hryvnias for an indefinite lease. This is a cabal. NAR thinks they are above the law. What does NAR really hide behind the patent rights? One thing is certain. The sarcophagus must remain intact. I will let you all watch the cutscene. Igor, cutscene. wake up, you sleepyhead. Look, look over there. Do you remember the glade just beyond those trees? That's where you proposed to me. You were so nervous and sweet. You're still sweet, my Professor Kimunik. Anyway, it feels good to return after all these years, doesn't it? What is it, Igor? You're still half asleep. Wake up. All right. Awaken. Tanya? Just looking around, because I haven't actually Tanya, done this before. Stop kidding in. around! Lockpicks? You so, sleepy. So, one time I did play this game, and I got really far, I got to like day 40. I made some progress in the story, but I never actually got close to finishing it, I don't think. Here, I'll zoom in on that. So if you want to pause and read. Yeah, what's going to move on? Oh, okay. I was going to try and test the sensitivity and adjust my settings, but here we are. Igor. Let us keep moving. Very, very like right here. You proposed to me. You were so nervous. And sweet. My professor. Is this what would happen if the sarcophagus would go, you think? Like if the sarcophagus was for some reason destroyed, we would have like this giant Tanya Amelieva. Dimensional warp thing going on. Where are you? Or over there from the looks of it. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait a minute. After all these. Yep. My first time playing that almost That's made me piss enough. myself, I'll be honest. That scared me so bad for no reason. So yeah, there are moments in the voice act. Yeah. Oh yeah, this part, combat. I like the combat of this game. I have a gun now. Fight here? Oh no. Oh. All right, now we're fighting. So with guns, you need to aim before you can shoot. You can't just start shooting randomly. Oh god. Whoa. Okay. Aiming sensitivity needs to be turned down. I'm glad we get to figure this out before we get to play the game. I'm just gonna turn it way down. Actually, I'll probably get to leave it at 0.5. Turn this down a bit as well. I don't think we need. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. Okay. Oh, use L3. Okay. Leave me the fuck alone. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's so cool. 
Aim the gun. Woo! Ooh. Reload faster, keeping you up. Ah, I should dodge that. Alright. I don't think we have any more ammo after this. Oh shit, yeah, I don't have ammo. Watch him! Oh god damn! <laughs> well, that was scary. Damn. That's kind of fucked up. Put your mobile head down there. Water? Why is this place so familiar? It's my old workshop. Need mechanical parts and electric parts. Please hurry. This reality is coming apart, can't you see? It's fairly normal to me, a bit dingy. Could bring a broom down here. There Get back go. to your work. It's the only way out of here. Pick up the base. All right. So now we need to portal generator. Yep, just slip that on there. And now you can make portals into alternate realities. Feels good to return. Wake up, Igor. We have to go. So yeah, if you think about it, like my <sighs> character Igor is like forty, almost fifty years old, maybe. What are you? So this man is spent through Having doubts, Professor. If you're thinking about backing out, you need to tell us now. Not a chance. Let's get this over with. Lead the way, soldier boys. Are you sure this plan of yours is going to work, Professor Kimenyuk? Igor, please. And yes, it will. You two take care of your part, and I'll take care of mine. All right? Try to keep a low profile. Last thing we want is a firefight. A, a fire? What are you getting us into, Igor? It is necessary. It's something that needs to be done. I don't like riddles, Professor. But you're the boss. Reminds me of that night up in Syria. Remember that, Olivier? I do, unfortunately. I'm gonna turn off your flashlights, boys. Kind of bright. Ah, yep. Flashback. Misha, we can't. We have to fall back. The pressure's dropping. Whoa. Downstairs now. Go, go, go. This is no time for bird watching, Igor. Let's go through the fence into the sewers. Sewers. Oh, and down into the underworld we go. That's a pretty big security risk. No talking. Go. Cool. After you, Eagle. Ladies and eggheads first. <laughs> Funny guy, huh? Up and over. Yeah, come on. Shit, Igor, <laughs> get down. Go. Climb it, you old fuck. Get to the sewer entrance. We're right behind you. So, you were inside the lab? Yeah, for a bit. See anything interesting? Nah. Interesting is above my pay grade. Now pass that bottle, Sergey. Thing is old. These guys are wearing gas masks now. But later on, I don't know, like, where they go. Because, like, you'll fight them later on. You'll see them. And they won't be wearing gas masks for some reason. Here it is. 
walk through here. Stained bush. Behind this concrete here. Whoa! Fuck, they're looking for me now. I think I fucked it already. Just barely made that. Oh my god. He can't see me here. Alright, go. Eagle, hey, over and here. And on. Okay, that was almost really fucking close. Yeah. Igor, take a rad reading, will you? Alright, that's uh. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, okay, so I can just push. Okay, oh, I need to actually go to it. 3.6. Not great. Not terrible. Chin up. We're safe for another hour or so. All right? None of you are safe. I don't like you saying that. Okay, I'll take point. Yes, sir, Captain Olivier, sir. I like these guys' M4s. I wish I could have them. Whoa! Anton Bold with his jump. <laughs> Oof. I'll go back up to close that, I guess. You sure this device of yours works? Scan for parts. Oh, I don't have time for getting into details right now, but yes, all it needs is more Chernobylite. I'll just take any parts you can find. Right. The most radioactive compound on Earth. That's what you called it. I don't think they would. I think it's just. Like that they yep. The readings are bad. The numbers are too high. We have to get out of here. We can't leave him behind, dear God. Let me out of here. Let me out. Alexander Boresevich, someone has to open the valves manually. Someone has to go inside. Oh, two hostiles up ahead. Quiet. Anton, that one's yours. I'll take. I'll take the other one, Olivier. Oh, look at Bright Boy over here. Okay, it's your show. But if you get us killed, I'm gonna be pissed. Five bars and rising. Think it'll explode. This may surprise you, but I'm actually a soldier, not a nuclear physicist. I don't see any leaks. Let's get out of here and report in. Not yet. Get a hold of yourself and keep looking for the fucking leak. I just gave these guys cancer, I'll actually be honest. Oh shit, we're in the drum. Okay. It's been a while. What was that, Eagle? All right, Eagle. You're the star. Ready to execute the plan? I'm accessing the terminal. If the AZ-5 button is still working... <gasps> Igor, don't! Tatiana? What are you stalling for, Igor? Time is critical here. Uh It's nothing. Just tired. Right. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Please focus on your job and I focus on mine. Get back to it then. The reactor room. Now. All right, cool. Now everyone knows we're here. Go. Go, go, go. Flashlight. Nonsense. It was just a fire, nothing more. We'll get it under control. RBMK reactors do not explode. The reactor core is exposed. I can see the graphite on the ground. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. You killed us, you arrogant son of a bitch. You've killed us all! Well... What about the radiation? Let's get this done quickly. Sorry, what I was say, you up. Sure, well, give me that. Gimme! Grab it! 
All right, now you will lose your fingers and run away. You've seen one of these before, haven't you? A much smaller fragment, but enough for my initial studies. Are you going to tell me how this fancy gun of yours works? It creates a kind of shortcut through time and space. It's called a wormhole. It forms a tunnel with two mouths. It, it needs an exotic energy source to keep it open. Exotic energy... Uh, that's the Chernobylite? Exactly. And Very similar where does this shortcut stuff. lead? Yeah, that isn't trippy at all. Yeah, even Olivia's like, whoa! It leads wherever it needs to. Let's leave it at that for now, all right? What? My fiance. She disappeared here during the disaster. You're wasting time! Yeah, can we talk about her later? Grab the crystals and let's go. Uh, motherfucker! Oh shit, Anton! Help me! Oh sh oh, your arm and legs are all fucking twisted, dude. Oh. Get up! You... Why are you here? Goodbye! <laughs> Woder. Oh shit, we're already here. I am. Ah! I forgot how fucked this was. Hey! What the fuck was that? Listen, I... Jesus, I'm so sorry, Olivier. Anton was, uh, he was a good man. Who was that fucker? Hell if I know. Somehow he used the negative energy of the Chernobylite to teleport. Stop. That doesn't matter right now. Can he get to us here? And where is here exactly? We're inside a wormhole connecting two singularities. It's quite short and not very stable, so we need to move. Do you understand? And no, he can't chase us in here. I, I mean, it's possible in theory, but... I don't want to know. Just get us out of here. This way. You'll come out near Mikhail's place, hopefully. Let's meet there, then. Uh, uh, my arm... Uh, it feels like the muscle's been twisted from the inside. You know what, no one's a stalker. They, they're more than capable of doing that. masked motherfucker, Anton. I promise you. That might be an actual ending if you bring Olivier with you. If he just gets to kill the fucking stalker. Which very original name, by the way. The stalker. Totally not heard anywhere else. Nope. No idea where that idea could have come place from. This is definitely not what it used to be. It's like a snake shedding his skin over and over again. You have to learn it all over again. Feel it. Tame it. Do, 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 do. <sighs> do, 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 oh, we're in. Find things. There's literally no things. Awesome. <laughs> uh, the singularity. Tearing at the fabric of reality. Ah, shit, that the ain't foundations of this reality are really quite fragile. You're out of time. Go. Ah, uh, way okay. I guess the whole thing now is to just fucking run, isn't it? All right, cool. We lost almost a whole chunk of our health. Motherfuck this goddamn asshole in a fucking hazmat suit makes me jump every goddamn time. My fucking god. Alright. Okay. Anti radmats, gonna need those. Bye bye, D. Take some meds. Okay, we gotta step through. How many times have we walked through these gates? More than I can count. Let's go in together, my love. Very nice. Alright. 
Now we're through. Let's see the ocean. Oh, the flashlight has a battery now. Oh, that's not very cool. That must be a new thing. What does the flashlight last for? It used to be the flashlight was just a permanent thing, like you could have it on the entire time. And now it's limited. Do you see that? Like the flashlight icon turned red and turned off. Grab all the herbs. There you go. There's the fire. Alright. Let us make the thing. Alright, so then. Uh, anti rad ointment. Healing salve. We'll just make three of these. Because why not, right? There we go. And then we just heal. And they're all good. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so this is the part where we... Hands where I can see them. What's the password? The password is... Would you mind? I can't think with that gun pointed at me. Igor? Damn it. Nostalgia. It's nostalgia. It was your idea, goddammit. That's... Damn. Come on in. <laughs> I think even Igor, I don't know that. you're a bit of a handyman, right? Take a look around and see if any of this crap is useful. So you need to have... You can see it all on the left. Power, air quality, rad security, comfort, and sleeping places. So let us work on that. We only have one dude now, but I'm pretty sure we can get uh, more people along the way. <coughs> more coughing. Now build a work table. Let's be sure that more advanced building. Okay, work table. Work table. Alright. So I think I'll make, um... Damn. I don't know. Where do I want to put, like... I want to, like, divide it into different parts. Because there's plenty of workbenches we can make. I want to put a workstation up here. Or do I want to put people's quarters up here? Right here. Okay, I'll put the workshop stuff down here, then. So this is a laser cutter. We don't need this right now. I do need to build him comfort stuff, though. I don't have any materials to build comfort stuff, though. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? No beds for now, I guess. Every day you'll have the opportunity. Okay. Awesome. Now that we have that taken care of, we have the starts of something great. There it is! All of Chernobyl! Hmm. <sighs> Looking goodness gracious. Have the city of Pripyat. The woodlands right here. Tell me you're not going straight oh, back hey. to the power plant. Hey. Because if you want to commit suicide, there are easier ways. Damn. We're outnumbered, outgunned, out. everything. We need intel, backup, supplies, and most of all, we need a fucking plan. Okay, Great. Olivier, let's hear your plan. I'm glad you're seeing reason. See this board behind me? We can use it to map out our plan of action. Figure out how to get inside the power plant and find whatever it is you're looking for. Or whomever. Every piece of intel, every bit of info about resources, will document in right here. We'll take our next step when the time is right. For today, let's focus on getting our strength back. If we're going to use this warehouse for our base, we need to find some supplies and get organized. Somewhere to sleep would be a start. Maybe we can find some cots? Okay. Yeah. Let's do this right. Great. I'll do everything I can to help you figure out what happened to this... Tatiana? That was her name, right? One last thing before you go. Give me the gun. NAR uses weapons with a biometric lock. We can't use them, so we have to defend ourselves with what we have. Use it as a last resort. 
I presume you know how to handle firearms? I do, but you're pointing that one right at me. I have faith in you, Igor. All right. Binoculars. Let's see here. So you deal with planning. Choose mission you will do personally in which you will entrust to live. Yay. Choose wise. You can only complete one mission a day. You can see everything from here. Ah. Uh, you cannot succeed alone, but there are others who will help you. Okay. I'm not sure what to do first. Should I tell Olivier to run some errands, or should I do it myself? Case with medicine, medicine supply drop. See, Olivier doesn't have a really good chance of doing any of these. The best one he has is munitions and ammo, so he can barely get medicines. Okay, um, we'll have you do this one. And then I'll go to Kapachi and get medicines. Start when you're ready. Okay, let's go get this started and relearn this entire game. We are in. in here. I hope we run into some rabbit dogs. I've always wanted to shoot a dog. The fuck? <laughs> Another hour gone. Three more to go. Fucking hell. Oi. Oh, I wonder what my wife is doing right now. Probably hanging out with her stupid hipster friends. Rough, mate. No, I'm in bush. You don't see me. I'm in bush. Oh, shit. Please turn around. I hate being outside. Cold, wet, and full of mosquitoes all biting you in the dick. There he is. I think I might actually be able to just sneak past these guys. Not this one. Okay. All work and no play makes Vladimir a dull boy. Sorry, mate! Damn it! That sucks a bit, don't it? I'm sure it's fine. You need all your stuff, thank you. Damn, that is... Damn! Yay! Okay, now that we got all that stuff... We can... No, oh, there's more! Good thing we don't need to go that way. Run for it. Okay, I think we're good. Now the stuff only killed two guys. That's that's a record. We did great. We're amazing. Don't worry about it. Hard. All work and no play makes He's Vladimir a dull, a dull boy. boy. Listen, Vladimir. You do your patrol. I'm gonna move on with my life. All right. Next thing, there's two things up here. So let's go check this out. Stop that. Bad Vladimir. What about the fucking breeze? Oh. Hello. Stay in the shadows. Why are you saying that? Get the fuck in here. Why are you Become saying invisible. that? Is there someone in here? I don't like this. Why is there an interaction thing three meters away? There's nothing in this room. This is a trap. This feels like a trap. I'm gonna stay low. Bread. None of you are safe. That time you gotta stop talking, motherfucker. Up 
and see what's... I thought it was a person for a second. Hello? Oh, I need a lockpick for this. And there's a clue right there! Aw, oh, motherfucking... Okay, well now that we know that... I'm making my way downtown. Walking fit. Herbs. This feels like something. I don't like it. Oh, that is gas. And I don't have a gas mask, so I can't even go that way. Oh. Oh. Heading out to the kindergarten again. Lena asked me to help with the children. They've been short staffed lately. You've got a big heart, Tanya, but you can't spend all your time worrying about everyone else. You need to take care of yourself. It matters how we raise these children, you know? They'll be the ones taking care of us when we grow old. Too late for me, I guess. <laughs> I'm already old. <laughs> oh, you silly. Oh, don't worry. I will always take care of you, Professor Kimunik. You okay, man? Igor! <laughs> Igor! This is a jump scare, isn't it? What? Oh, You'll damn. never find her. <laughs> Leave this place. Damn. Right, let me see something here. Crafting tools, stove, basic field workshop. I can produce a gas mask filter and a metal plate, but I can't make a gas mask. So is there even... I can't make a gas mask here? Damn, that sucks. Environment modifiers. Chernobylite neutralizer. She assimilates and neutralizes Chernobylite dispersed in the air. Makes Chernobylite storms less frequent. Tomorrow and in the following days, the appearance of the Black Star is delayed by several minutes. The effect stacks up. The fuck you mean? <coughs> the black stock tomorrow and in the following days. The appearance of the black stalker is delayed by several minutes. You mean I'm gonna have to start dealing with the stalker already? Space time distributor? Use the shell power to stop radiation. Particles slows down the rate of radiation growth in the zone. Wormhole blocker. So I really gotta start bringing shit to the zone. Fuck. Quick scan. Nothing around. Abundant materials right here. Oh, I'm trying to keep an eye out for soldiers. You'll never find her. Don't 
Don't do something silly now. I'm just gonna go this way. Then I will leave! Uh, ah, I've never seen that before! Fuck! Ah, fuck, it's the kindergarten, isn't it? I don't want to go in there, but I know that's the only thing left to do. That I can access, because I don't have lockpicks. Whoa, hey! We have to go. There's been an accident. We need to evacuate the children and staff. Buses from all over the country are coming to pick everyone up. Hurry! But I, I can't just leave the kindergarten unattended. No discussions, please. You'll thank us later. He's not wrong. Okay. Let's just grab our parts and get the fuck out of here, shall we? Stop with these fucking... Uh. You can't hide under your bed, Oleg. You're a big boy now. Tomorrow you're going to see your daddy. Oh, want to be a fireman like him? You're going to have to be brave then. Ah. Uh, his daddy didn't make it, did he? Knowing what I know about Chernobyl, I don't think his daddy made it. Can I get in there? Fucking another one? Lena, your husband works in the power plant, right? No, I... I'm having some weird dreams lately. I, I must be tired, is all. God, it, like, flashbangs me every time. Pull out the scanner again. Do one more scan. I think. I don't think it's edible, I'll be honest. I think we're in the clear. I don't think there's anything else I need to worry about, but I'm gonna keep my gun out. Just in case I'm wrong. Okay. <laughs> Where are you going, Tanya? Look at this place, Igor. It's so peaceful. Empty, but peaceful. Not a soul in sight. <laughs> That's okay with me. I'm not really a people person. <laughs> I know. I wonder how you're going to get through our wedding with all those guests. How many guests? <laughs> Don't worry, silly. You'll be fine. Igor's an introvert, confirmed. Well, one more thing left to do anyway. Let's get the fuck out of here. Adios, back to the safe house. I think this approach is working, Hello. Igor. Looks like we can sneak in and out of the zone without attracting attention. So, how did it go? Are you any closer to finding your old lady? You still want to go back to the power plant? I have to go back. I have the strongest feeling she's there. Feelings? You surprise me, Professor Kimenyuk. Har har. Alright, now that we got the tutorial finished. We got the medicine supplies, he got munitions, nice, and uh, that's good, got plenty of food, is, let's get this guy a fucking bed, I mean like a full on bed bed, I'm gonna half ass this stuff. <clears throat> Uh, I think... Yeah, okay. We'll put it, like, here. Boom. There. Right, so there we go. Now he has, like, his own space-ish, sort of. <coughs> and then... Ah, we need more than a commode. Yeah, 
Yeah, pantry is pantry's better. Get some nice space here. Build. We'll build one of them for now. We don't need a lot. And then we need gardening. Every day upon your they add a small amount of mushrooms to the inventory. That's good. Oh, but we need food. So we need more herbs and mushrooms. I can get those next expedition. But for now, let's build... Actually, if I just build a shroom one, and then I'll build a plant one later on, we'll be set. Set up going. We got storage now. We can put away things we don't need, for example. Put all the ammo, rifle ammo in here. Because we don't need motherfucking rifle ammo. We'll put the rations here, because we don't need that. That's shotgun slugs, just realized. Uh, put away the fuel and herbs and the parts and the chemicals and all this stuff. Alright, we don't need this. Um, Alright, I think that's good. We can just leave it. Oh, look at that. It puts boxes on the shelves. So that it has. Oh, that's awesome. We still need more beds, Igor. I just made you a fucking bed. What do you mean? Do you right, think you could training. find some time to teach me some of your military tricks? <laughs> no. But I'll be happy to teach you some basics. It'll make my job easier too if you know how to handle yourself out there. I want the silent takedown. Stealth. We had a toy shot. I do. I think. Um... Yes, stunning. That's what I want. Because then I can do like silent takedown guy on guys, and it doesn't kill them. Only chokes them out. So it doesn't make them harder to fight in the future, and my and I don't drain my psyche. Perfect. I need this. Let's do it. Taking out your you enemy requires guts. Taking out your enemy quietly is an art. I think you've got what it takes to do the former, but you suck mightily at the latter. Okay. Now, the lesson is about knocking out your opponent without being spotted by him or anyone else. The secret lies in understanding human anatomy as well as stealth. It's about knowing how to apply enough force to put your opponent out of commission without killing them. Right. Let's put theory into practice. Sneak up on me and perform a chokehold. Don't worry about hurting me. I'm a professional. You gonna turn around? Hello? If we get behind this, then he comes around. Hey, you really should have seen me, I'll be honest. Okay, Igor, enough. That was impressive. Well done, soldier. Thank you. We'll build a sofa. How's that? So now we have one extra sleep. Well done. Place. Now everyone will wake up well rested and ready to take on the zone. Yeah, you will. I already gave you a big ass. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You need to understand, it wasn't my decision to shut down Ariadna. I don't blame you, Grace. But I still think it's a mistake. It's so much more than Pandora. It allows us to step into the realm of human memories and thoughts. Into the real world. What can I tell you, Igor? The board decided it wasn't financially viable. It was too... outlandish. Jokes ah, the fools! Good. Every object is a natural dosimeter. Everything absorbs radioactive particles throughout its life, thus creating an echo in time and space. Ariadna can recreate this echo in a fractal VR simulation. There's nothing outlandish about it. Look, I get it. I do. It's your life's work. But just think about it. The process requires an unbelievable amount of power. It's impractical at this stage. What about those nuclear nano-diamond batteries that use the graphite from recycled radioactive waste? That's just another project right now, Igor. I still don't think it would be enough. For Ariadna to work, 
You need a power source that doesn't exist yet. Perhaps one that cannot be found on Earth. But... I'm sorry, Igor. It's over. You need to accept it and move on. He had the whole thing figured out. He just needed the power. Which... Wait, did I cause the trouble disaster? Fuck the board! I'm not going to let anyone destroy my work. Wake up. Wake up, Igor. I'm starting to the night. Tanya? Is this Did a dream? Did I cause Chernobyl? I'm waiting for you, Because I my love. wanted power Blind for my me. project? Hurry. I don't have much time left. I'm well, trying, hello. Tanya. I really am. I need to look at my board. That was something. Um, I think I can leave it here and I will come back to this later on because it's probably already been long enough. So, yeah, I'm going to end it here and I will see you all then. Goodbye.